most frustrating thing about all this stuff is, especially the main thing is that I just made a video, like a 15 minute video, like five minutes ago, and um, after all of that, I realized that the volume was muted. It's a terrible thing. Like, you kill me. It's one of the most frustrating things when you make these videos, especially like when you're out and about and you get a few minutes to yourself and you can like use your phone then you upload it and it's muted or it's upside down or very frustrating but um, I'm gonna try to remember the gist of what I was saying in the last video where there was no volume uh, I was basically letting everybody know uh, a few things are still coming for 2013 because of the new changes and uh, the full implementation of the Patriot Act now where uh, social security numbers are married with businesses and married with any type of uh, financial transaction. So even back back before when it was a corporate level and it was completely separated, it's still completely separated. Like, you know, there's two different accounts, but they're all still married together. And um, this was done like to for money laundering, terrorism, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, there are still ways around it, but usually if you've had a failed business in the past, uh, usually a nominee is your only way to go. Uh, with LexisNexis and, and the different data mining companies, they'll, they'll pick up on anything with, within like 100 degrees of separation. So like if you were to restart something, you couldn't use an address. You couldn't use a new nominee and an address for a business you've already used because it would automatically link you to the address. It could be that person honestly starting a business on their own and they just live or used to live in the same house you do. If you have a failed business and that was ever one of your addresses, their business will be flagged as high risk no matter what they do. It won't even be their fault. It's just the way uh, the information piles in. I'm sure everybody who looks at, looks at LexisNexis or Zaba Search or People Search, things like that, you can see where the data mining pulls all this information from and grab it from different places. And um, they put it all together. And all this is is an attempt. Uh, like when everything crashed in 07, like the main brunt of the blame was put on a lot of the credit bureaus. Uh, you gotta understand, which makes perfect sense. Uh, I gave this guy credit because you guys checked him out and said he was okay. Turns out he wasn't okay. Then when we finally, you know, we got got to do a little bit more digging, he's way less than okay. Like not only is he not okay, like he's he actually owes us money like two times prior. Why didn't we pick up on this? That kind of stuff. So what they do, they get a little bit better at it and dig a little bit deep into people's lives. And if you go to like LexisNexis Lexis, or any one of those type of uh, information companies, you'll see where you type your name in, you'll see your next of kin, people related to you, people associated with you, all pulled from public records, um, which is what I made the last video for as a, as a point of facts for people to know, just for your own information. Uh, I was talking about check systems and WPS, uh, just alluding to why some people actually work their corpse and do everything right, their credit score is right, everything is correct, and it's still like an X factor they can't figure out. And um, that's what I wanted to like introduce into the mix so everybody can understand. If you've ever uh, rented at a place, and sometimes even uh, certain car lots, it depends on what service that they're hooked up to uh, when they run it, when you run your credit. But like the check systems, everyone's heard of check facts, you know, when you go get a bank account, we have banks like uh, Wells Fargo, who won't even give you an account if you have a bad smear on your uh, on your cr personal credit report. You don't even go to open a business account, but if your personal score has a smirch on it, like you they'll you go in with fifty thousand dollars in cash and you you're already trusting them to hold your money and hope that they don't go out of business. But they won't even let you allow them to hold your money if you you have a bad mark on your credit report. Doesn't make any sense at all. Um, you're not asking for a loan, you're not asking them to check your credit. If anything, you're asking them to, to, to take your deposit, which allows them through fractional lending to loan out more money. So actually the second you put your money in, it's not really there anymore. They immediately add it, immediately add it to the reserves and use, count that and use that as a figure of nine times more money that they can lend out to other people at interest, because that's how banks make money. Uh, traditional banks, anyway. So, a weird thing when it comes to check system WPS, but if you ever rented from uh, or put an application to uh, your average conventional like um, rental compound or complex or apartment or anything like that, and they actually rent it, sometimes they run check systems. And what a lot of people don't know is if, you, if you've never pulled your check system report, 
is that they list felonies and everything on there. If you have any, they list them, they list how many. I mean, it's, a, it's amazing that you actually get to see it. And um, even though it would seem to be irrelevant for, you know, matters of credit or anything like that, it's still listed there and it's still um, used as a deterrent for when you go and um, try to apply for some apartment building where everything seems up to par, your paperwork seems up to par, your income level, your proof of income, you have everything you need, uh, and just really just can't figure out why, you know, what's the problem. And they won't tell you because you know, they're not allowed to. So that's what, that, those were the points I was making in the last video. It was 10 minutes, right? Five minutes to change. Now, but uh, that's what the last video I just made that didn't have any volume. And I have a green light bouncing now, so I'm assuming that uh, it's actually working now. And the lighting is kind of bad in here, and uh, probably fix that later. But I figured, like, uh, reason I haven't really made any uh, videos, because um, I mean, after you make a thousand, fifteen hundred videos, I think it's over two thousand videos in total, counting all the affiliates and everything. But I mean, me personally, I made over a thousand, like personally. And after a while, it starts becoming repetitive, even to yourself, even to some of the. I used to get emails like, "Yeah, man, you just explain the same thing over and over." I'm like, "Yeah, that's my point," but. What you don't see is I keep getting the same questions over and over again. So if I keep explaining the same thing over and over again and get the same questions over and over again, and evidently I'm not explaining it effectively enough. So, and then when it comes to those kind of things, it, there's so many variables. Like, it, uh, you know, somebody opening a bakery and someone opening a barbershop won't need the same things. And they'll follow a blueprint up to a certain point because everybody's supposed to do this to this point. But then it becomes a fork in the road where that barber would need to acquire barber lines of credit like that that's traditional in, in that field business where the baker would you know secure different vendors for materials that surround you know baking goods and things like that makes perfect sense so it's hard to keep making videos so what, what i did it seemed to make perfect sense we started a forum um forum for the members we talk about sensitive issues like uccs uh, department store, getting cash out of department store, credit cards. We added a real estate section in there. I mean, it's just like so much stuff that, you know, you put the uh, form out there and you put like 15 people to moderate it. Then I don't need to keep making, uh, you know, videos every day because there's a forum live. Like if something happened yesterday, then there's people there that'll say, look, this is what happened to me yesterday. I called such and such. This is what they said. This is their new policy. And it's updated, and everyone knows about it right then and there. And if you have a question, instead of asking me, like, after all these years, like, how do you get a paydex? And still thinking that paydex matters about anything, then th it's better that you go to the forum and actually catch up. Because I can't answer 4,000, 5,000 emails a day with the same questions over and over. And for the most part, they are the same questions over and over again. And, you know, so we set up the forum. There's two sides. There's plenty of free information and plenty of free videos out there for people to still be successful in what they're trying to do. But then there's some gray area stuff. Well, I, say, I use the term gray area because there's some things that could be done, but there's only the legal issues. I can't promote them. I can only explain them. So some of that stuff you can't really just give in a free forum because, I mean, it, it, one, they got a lot of unscrupulous people out there, and people get themselves in a lot of trouble. Because they'll, they'll, a lot of people, when you get new things, and, uh, new toys, or you buy new things from the store, Walmart, whatever, you open up the box, you see the on and off button, you don't even bother to read the instruction. Like, nobody ever bothers to read the instruction. They only look at the few lines that they, oh, really? You like to do this? And you throw, throw the instructions away, and you immediately jump on it, and you end up hurting yourself. Like, for life. Like, you really gotta even know. Like, you'll be you know, red, you know, black ball or red flag flight. So we decided, like, you know, not to be too irresponsible with that kind of information. If you want to know about it, we'll tell you about it, but it's all over there in the members area where it's a secure, where legally, what, what the lawyers say, is a secure area with a password. And um, it's just for information purposes only so people can understand what's going on. So that, that's the gist of that. Um, knock it off. That's, that's me. Why are you walking at me? Why are you growling at me? That's that baby. See, he's got issues with that. But anyway, um, I, I think that's it. I just wanted to explain that check system thing and a bunch of other stuff. That's me and that's you. Why is growling?
Come on, give me a kiss. Kiss me. No, kiss me. Not really. Good girl. Now get out of here. Yeah, you get down. Go play. Anyway. But that's pretty much it. Uh didn't want to really I stopped making videos. I was gonna to continue to make some videos and um without me being in them and just uh post post like when I narrated and put uh, text and stuff in the background, graphics stuff. So that way you get the point that it takes me out the picture because people don't understand that we, we run and own a lot of different businesses, a lot of different divisions, a lot of different departments. And um they actually require a lot of work, hands-on work, logistics, paperwork. So when you actually have those, and those, all those are for profit, it's hard to, you know, there's no way that I could just sit in one spot and just answer just questions all day. Like that would be that was like an eight-hour job. Like that's why the forums there, the fifteen moderators, and anytime you ask a question, they all get the email, even me, and they can even immediately respond. And eventually we'll broaden the different topics in the um, forum as well, so they'll cover, you know, more things. But still, that's the best place to ask the question because I could put. I used to. I, I was doing audios. I put the audios on the website. Nobody, no, nobody paid any attention to any of it. Any of it. Nobody listened to any of them. I'm not saying nobody, but the vast majority nobody listens to them. I could. I could put four or five audios back to back. At one point, and I'll still get a thousand emails asking the same question. So then I'm gonna eventually take that off like one of the reasons I stopped making videos. Because if, 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 if in 2012, on the way to 2013, people still asking me, how do I get a payback? And I, evidently, one of us are doing something wrong. Like, I mean, no sense to make these videos, nobody's going to listen to So, I guess that's it, though. So, and also another way, reason I stopped making videos because I'm getting kind of fat. I didn't want to start looking crazy on, um, on camera and whatnot, so I just decided not to make them till I, till I lose some of this. So it's sweet, looking really fat. Like, well, we're operating off for 18 hours of sleep. We're going to have a desk. we are not at the desk in the car an hour and a half. Trust me. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how we're going to do it. I might make some more videos, me and Sad Baby. And um, we'll see how all of this stuff goes in the end. But definitely some new information for 2012. I mean, 2013, I'm sorry. And uh, some more information about how like to avoid um, the you know that Patriot Act stuff and um, that check system stuff that they're trying to strengthen up too. Because check systems has always been a reputable uh, bureau, and um, like they're not like Experian or Dun and Bradstreet. Like they've always there's no pressure on them at all because they're only basically uh, focused on renters and uh, banks. So they've always delivered accurate information. They, they they have no incentive to lie or sway one way or the other. So the information is usually pretty accurate. So that being said, until next time, G Boogie from G Boogie dot net.